Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Chris, and this is my channel, Bar 911970. Thank you for taking the time to listen to what I'm about to say. And listen to this with an open mind, because this one's going to be a little bit out there, but I've never been one to shy away from things that most people would be afraid to speak about. And if you've been watching my channel long enough, I talk about how easily people get programmed. They do it through pictures, TV, movies, um, propaganda through the news media and things like that. And as you see by the title of this video, I talk about who is going to be the next president solely in my opinion, based on what I've seen from the programming that's out there recently. Now, I've said many times that there are no accidents. All things happen for a reason. Um, people may wonder, well, you know, how did you go from talking about all this truth stuff to starting a channel of comic books? Well, to give a little history about that, because it actually, it will show and prove a purpose of why that ended up ultimately happening, because it's helped me to understand what this video is all about and the programming they do. Well, just to give a general background, I used to collect comics when I was a kid. I loved doing it. It's another way to invest your money into a tangible physical asset. So besides things like potential gold and silver, you know, artwork and real estate and things like that, um, it's better to have something physical than actually this fiat currency. So it was another reason when I was getting the the threats and all that other stuff. And I was getting bombarded for a while. It got very stressful and I just needed a break. So I started doing the comic book channel, never thinking it would be anything that would come out of it. And here we go that the, I noticed the trend recently, and I'm sure you've noticed it. There are a lot of characters that all of a sudden are becoming female. Now, as you see in the image on this video, you see what is now the new Wolverine. Um, it's what's it's technically her name is X-23, which is Wolverine's daughter, but she is now taking over from where um, Logan was since the inception of Wolverine into comics. Um, that's not the only character. Uh, Thor. And if you've seen the Avengers movies, you know that it's a man. Well, it's now a woman. There is plenty of shows now that are having women as very powerful figures. Now, I'm not suggesting that's bad, but what I'm suggesting is there's a purpose behind it. Because if you notice, you'll have things like Supergirl. They've um, had new characters like Spider-Gwen, and now a newest one, Gwenpool. And there are a lot of shows where they're showing women in very powerful positions, more so than ever before. Now, again, I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but what it's doing is, is it's preparing people for who is going to be the next president, which will prove that your votes don't count. And I've had videos that explain how legitimately your votes don't count because they program you to accept that be, with all of this bombardment of just what you'll view, the average person will view as just normal television programming. What a funny coincidence that all of a sudden they're seeing all this these powerful women in comics and in TV shows and situations that normally have not been, that they're preparing to let you know who the next president will be, and that will be Hillary Clinton. Because they want people used to very powerful female figures to get you used to it, and they set you up beforehand so by the time Hillary Clinton is, quote unquote, elected into the presidency, which I find that hysterical because it's not an election, it's a selection, you will have been programmed already because you've seen multiple images for months, over a year now, of powerful female characters. Now, can I guarantee this is going to happen? Of course not. Is it absolutely silly and crazy? It can be perceived that way. Sure, I'm not going to sit here and deny that. But what if that does happen? Something to think about. So this is something you may want to show the people in your life that are really into the politics and really believe that their votes count. 
Look at the comic book industry. Look at all a lot of the TV shows now. You have Jessica Jones that's going to be coming out on Netflix. You have, like I said, the Supergirl. There's a lot of female characters all of a sudden coming out with positions of power. If you've collected comic books or seen most movies for decades in the movie industry, the woman was always portrayed as the helpless victim, the one that needed to be saved. And now they're all becoming very powerful lead roles. So again, I'll say it 5,000 times so no one gets offended. I'm not saying that it's bad. I'm not saying women shouldn't have equal rights and equal roles. I'm all for that. But when it comes to the media and it's owned by the very people that control you, or at least try to control you, they put in messages that you won't pay attention to unless you pay attention to it. So the majority of people will just see that and be like, wow, especially young girls today, they'll be like, wow, we're empowered. So when Hillary Clinton becomes president, every no one will have a problem with it, even men, because they've been conditioned to see one powerful woman, one strong woman after another, which again, I think is still a good thing, but it's their way of saying, this is what's going to happen. We have to prepare you for it by subliminally putting messages that most people will not even notice. So when we have an agenda that we want to fulfill, you'll be easier to accept it. And that's why I tell people all the time when it comes to media, propaganda is all about putting in messages for the 99% who just maybe not even care enough to notice. But people like you and I, especially if you're listening this long, you're probably one of those perceptive people that can pick up the messages and songs and see some of the, the things that they say in movies and do in movies and shows and what they say on TV or the television. You can see those coded messages. It's called hidden in plain sight. So whether this comes true or not remains to be seen, but it would be quite kind of interesting if Hillary Clinton came out of nowhere and all of a sudden became the leader of the United States of America Corporation. If you don't know what I mean by that, you may want to look at some of my other videos. They will ex explain what I mean about the word corporation, because the word United States is not what you think it is, and it's not where you think it is. It's a corporate name that was purchased by the British crown decades ago. It was probably over a century ago. It's not what you think. But I have videos that talk about that, so we weren't going to get into that here. So thank you for watching, guys. I would love to hear your opinions. Please keep an open mind. And if you disagree, that's perfectly fine. I'm not here for people to yes me to death. But if you are going to leave a comment, all I request is you do it in a civil manner with respect. Talk to me like you would talk to your family, and hopefully most of you talk to your family with respect. So you don't have to agree. And if you think it's crazy, that's fine. Just be kind people, because if we have to learn anything in life, we should learn to be respectful to one another. We don't have to agree, because everybody has the right to their own opinions, and this is just mine. But you don't really necessarily have to attack somebody for having a difference of opinion. It's just not a nice way to live. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you appreciated this. Thumbs up will tell me that you did. And if you share it, that's really appreciated. Helps expand my channel to other people. And watch this with somebody that's really into politics. They may think it's crazy, but if it ends up happening, that would be either one heck of a coincidence or maybe there's something to it. I can't tell you how to think. That's up to you. I just provide the information, and what you do with it from there is up to you. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.